There was a time in America when our fathers and grandfathers could walk out of high school, in many cases not even complete high school, and walk into a good job that provided for their families. In this manufacturing era, most Americans did not need a college degree. Since about 1970 or so, this paradigm has been eroding. The information economy, coupled with increased technological needs, has changed everything. And the economy of our parents and grandparents, which promised a well-paying job with a high school degree, was forever gone. So what does this mean for high school graduates and dropouts? It means that they are on a collision course with poverty. Because we know that degree attainment is positively correlated with wages and employment. The most important economic growth issue of our time is this. The critical connection between college success and economic prosperity. The facts show clearly that increasing higher education attainment is essential to the nation. Why? Because without college level learning, workers simply won't have the knowledge and skills they need to succeed, flourish, and prosper in today's global economy. Even in so-called declining industries, such as manufacturing, the need for college-educated workers is becoming acute as jobs become more complex and require more technological knowledge. In my home state of Indiana, about a year ago, Cummins Engine Company was looking for a place to build a new plant. Because Cummins has been a centerpiece of Indiana's economy for decades, all bets were on the plant being located in Indiana. But in fact, Cummins decided to locate the plant in Tennessee. Why? Because the state of Tennessee has figured out how to connect workers with the jobs that business and industry needs in that economy. So Indiana lost out on this economic advantage. Let's look at some countries where the supply of college graduates is increasing rapidly. Countries like South Korea, where the college attainment rate among young adults, those 24 to 34 years old, is 58%. Yet the gap in wages between college graduates and non-graduates is still widening. It's the simple law of supply and demand. The growing wage premium for college graduates is clear evidence that labor markets are undersupplied with college graduates, and the consequence of this fact is simple, depressed economic growth. For decades, America was unparalleled in post-secondary degree attainment. But for the past few decades, our higher education attainment rate has stalled, and other nations are racing ahead of us, both in college attainment and prosperity. More and more organizations, states, institutions, businesses, and individuals are recognizing that the key to American economic stability is higher education, and they are adopting Goal 2025. This goal calls for 60% of Americans to obtain high-quality degrees and credentials by the year 2025. What does this mean? It means that more Americans must obtain high-quality certificates, high-quality credentials, high-quality two-year and four-year degrees, and beyond if we are to keep our American way of life. Now the data. The Georgetown Center on Education and the Workforce shows how crucial this goal is to our economy. By 2018, it projects the shortfall of degrees to be 3 million. Further, its data shows that by 2018, 63% of all jobs will require post-secondary training and degrees. Now, the history helps prove this data because between 1973 and 2008, the share of jobs requiring post-secondary education increased from 28% to 59%. We can also look at recent jobless data. During the Great Recession, in which the unemployment rate has hovered between 9 and 10 percent for the nation, the unemployment rate for those with a four-year degree is under 5 percent. And if you look at wages earned, you'll see that the average wages for a four-year degree holder is $58,000. Now compare that to under $30,000 for one with high school or less. So now, 
We need to help more organizations and individuals gain awareness and understanding of this critical need. State legislatures, college access organizations, and higher education agencies have adopted and are promoting Goal 2025 today. Lumina Foundation is developing tools right now to help organizations adopt the goal, but we need more Goal 2025 evangelists. So here's what you can do to help. We hope that you'll join us in promoting Goal 2025. Share this information with others and ask others to adopt the goal as part of their organization's agenda. You can also contact me, Teresa Dietrich, at tdietrich at luminafoundation.org.